Hey guys, this is my full review of Cyanogen Mod 10 for the Samsung Galaxy Nexus. As you see, these are the Cyanogen Mod 10 nightly builds. I rarely run stable builds of anything if there are nightly builds available. So if we go down to About Phone, you see they are running on Android 4.1.2. Cyanogen Mod 1031 2012. It is November 2nd, so I'm about two days behind. But that gives me a chance because there are only minor updates, so that gives me a chance to show you guys the new Sign Engine Mod updater. Which, as you see right here, check for updates. I have it set to weekly and update types, new versions, including nightly builds. And it says new updates are available. So if it's that new one right there for today. If I click that download, then I can click the little flash button and it would it would automatically download and install. I'm gonna save that for more towards the end of the video because you know it has to rebuild cache and stuff like that. So I'm gonna save that toward the end of the video and I'll show you guys how to update it without having to wipe everything. So if we go into performance, when I flashed a build, when I did this install video, when I flashed that build, um, I overclocked this to 1.3 gigahertz from 1.2, and my phone went in a boot loop. So, yeah, I don't, I kind of left it at the stock 1200, because I didn't, I didn't have to reinstall the ROM, because I, I had already had all my apps and everything. So, I just took took away the overclock. It wasn't that hard. But, we scroll up. You see I have a energized theme, which is part of the theme chooser. So, if we open up to themes, you see I have the energized theme. It's an awesome theme off the market. It's a cyan and an orange theme. It's, I believe, $1.50. It's kind of like my theme of the week. So... You guys should definitely try that out because it's pretty awesome. That's if you like cyan and orange though. Which I do because you know, I have the dolphins as the wallpaper. So if we go under the home screen, you can see we can change the number of home screens, grid size, default screen, how like wide the home screen is, and how you know tall, stuff like that. Resize any widget, have the search bar. We can have our wallpaper. If if you just want it static, where it does not scroll when you do, you just, you know, apply that. Or uncheck that, I mean. So, let's go back. The application drawer, you can join the tabs, the apps, and the widgets. Show the indicator, and also fade it. And then under general, you just have auto-rotate it. So, not really much under launcher, but I mean, it, it gets the job done. And then we have screen security. It has your face unlock, stuff like that. I'm not really going to get too much into that. One thing that I found pretty awesome, though, with the CM, they give you the choice if you want to have your clock in the center, to the left, or to the right, which I think is an awesome, you know, feature. I believe AOKP has that now. I'm not sure. I haven't used theirs since <laughs> whenever I did my video on it. <laughs> Um, battery status, I have it always on, but you, you can have it where it's only when charging. Weather. As you see, it uses Yahoo weather, which I don't know why, but I guess Yahoo works pretty good. So, if you want it in Fahrenheit, uncheck metric. Just throwing that out there. There's some usual weather stuff. Calendar. My calendar's not that important, so, yeah. And then we have slider shortcuts. You see, I have Pandora, I believe. No, I have Apollo Music. I have Google Now, and I have Plume for Twitter. If you wanted to change, say, Apollo, you would just tap this. And you can choose any of these. Or you can just choose a custom application from your list. Wait for this to load up. And I'm losing my voice. Huh? Sorry, I didn't mean to. All right. And after 
a while. I do, I do have a lot of apps, so, so it depends on how many apps you have. If you didn't want Apollo and you want it, scroll to the bottom because I have this Walkman app off the SGS3. So here we go. And then if I don't want that weird looking at icon, I can choose the music one and it blends in with the other ones more. And then I just click save. It says live stream. So if I lock it, if I unlock it, see I have the music and I have plume. So and you've seen the weather and how actually I don't I don't know if you did or not. See how my clock is center aligned and I have the weather right there and connect your charger because my battery is running low. I'll, I'll get into the battery in just a second. I already showed you guys theme, so let's go to system. <coughs> Sorry. Um, you can have show clock. That's if you really don't want the clock. I don't know why. They took away their center clock. I don't know why. I kind of like that actually. And then we have the AM PM stuff. I have none because it just kind of looks cleaner, I guess. And then we can have AM PM. Battery. I have the circle. You can have cir circle with percentage. See a little random 7 just kind of popped up. This is our new circle battery widget mod thingy. Honestly, I don't know what they call it. You can see that's the one where it's just the circle. I'm trying to get the one with percentage. There you go. See a little six just popped up there. I'm going to go back to circle though. Focus back. All right. And signal status style. I just leave that alone. Brightness control and show notification count. So if I had more than one Gmail, it would show a little number under it. And then brightness control is where you press and hold and then you slide your thumb. Not much, but it works. CM is based on pretty much a simple, clean, like, you know, clean Android. AOKP is more of the, you have all the customizations. You can completely turn off your cust your toggle widgets if you don't want them up there, which I think is kind of neat. Yours won't look like this unless you have this theme, of course, but let's go to widget buttons. As you see, you have some custom media. Toggle between 2G and 3G, which all I get's edge here anyway, so it don't really matter what I toggle between. Um, Bluetooth, brightness, your LED flashlight, mobile data, orientation, stuff like that. And then you can also change settings at the bottom. You can change your order if you would like. And then, of course, haptic feedback, stuff like that. Choose your wallpaper, which I have the dolphins as you've seen font size, power menu, that's when you press and hold the power button, as you see I have all of those, so let's go back, and navigation bar, which this is, it's not really new to Sam anymore, but I still think it's kind of cool, so say if you didn't want menu right there, you could change it to, like say search button, which I, I don't think looks good, so I'm, I'm going to go back to menu button. But, and then you just lock it. But that's how easy it is just to change your navigation bar. Kind of like AOKP. -A and under advanced, we have color multipliers. Mess with your screen. Mess with your little vibration thing. And also mess with your GPU, which I think is kind of cool. You can go to 384 or 512. I leave it at 384 just in case, you know, something happens. So I don't really want, you know something bad to happen um let's jump right into battery so see i'm at six percent that says 15 hours I'm trying to get the light off of it 15 hours screen on time is two hours and 54 minutes so it, it'll be three hours by the time it probably dies so that's not bad it's better than when i first flashed the nightly i was getting like <laughs> half a day not even barely making it half a day then with the nightly that I flashed on the 31st that's why I kind of kept this nightly because battery life was really awesome so of course you have CM profiles kind of like tasker if you have that app and your accounts and like I showed you guys performance 
So let's go back. If we long press on the home screen, we do have your cyanogen mod wallpapers, which are always kind of cool to look at. So many. I don't really get how these are part of CM, but I guess whatever works for them, right? And so, I'm trying to think of what apps come with this. I've, I heard there's a sign that didn't want to follow Explorer, but I don't know where it's at. So, there is Apollo. I installed the 4.2 camera. Um, there's Torch. I guess if you want Torch, it's pretty cool, right? Let me go back to that CM updater. And since we only have like 6% battery, It'll make it worth our while, right? So if we go back to Science Mod Updates, you see there is an update for today. You, you see it under Settings that I was running the 31st build, so I'm going to click this little download thingy. And I guess it gives us a... Is that indicator being filled or... Ooh. So we are at 0%. I have relatively decent internet I get around 40 down 7 up I get around 8 to 9 up if it's a good day so I don't know if the servers are being hit really hard or well I'm not waiting on this but anyways this would download and after that's done downloading you would hit this little thing that appeared it would say downloaded right there if you hit that, it would reboot into recovery for you and install it. doesn't matter what recovery you have, I believe. It installs it anyways. And I'm going to end this with the boot animation. But as you see, it's pretty easy to update. It does everything for you. No need to reinstall G-Apps or anything like that. I'm not sure why it's so bright, honestly. Sorry for this video being so so long to you guys. But I figured I'd show you the awesome signs. You know, look at that. Just whoosh. So epic. The epicness right now. Just whoosh. I'm not sure if that zooming in helped at all. Honestly, it probably did, and I probably just screwed up the whole video, but it's okay. It's okay. I'm used to it. And I know I didn't do anything for reaching the 100 follower mark. I mean, 100 subscriber mark. But I have a surprise when it comes to... Da -na -na -na, when I get to 200... I finally found those at Walmart, actually. Which I thought was pretty cool. Because uh, they used to not sell them in Middleburg. Because you know I live in the country. Way out in the middle of freaking nowhere. <coughs> I think I just got a blank message. Oh, never mind. It's probably a picture. <laughs> Which I can't download because I'm on Edge. and my, Never mind. I'm not going into that. But this was my full review of CyanogenMod Mod Nightly Builds. I figured I would do an updated one since the last one is from like, don't even know actually. That's out of rotation by the way. So all in all, Sinajimon is still a really good stable ROM. If you want a stable ROM with great battery life, great performance, definitely choose Sinajimon. If you want one, one with a lot more tweaks, go with AOKP. And yeah if you like this video be sure to give it a thumbs up if you want to see more videos like this be sure to subscribe and i think i'm going to be installing team baked rom after this because it, it looks awesome on my nexus 7 i'm running the baked beans 6 um i didn't do a video on baked beans 6 yet but i've had it installed for like three days or so so look for that video soon. Look for the install video on here soon. And look for a lot of videos soon too. Because it's the weekend so I have a little bit more free time. 
I'm going to get this uploaded and I'm going to go play some Call of Duty. So, yeah.